Hello amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to use the tool called Spice to show you guys how I found vulnerability types for a specific company. Not going to disclose which one of course, but I'm going to use google.com as an example. Now um, what I have done here is I've checked out all of the subdomains for google.com. As you can see, name domain ends with google.com right up here. Let me make this a little bit bigger by the way. There we go. So um, that might be a bit too big. So these are the domains, as you can see here, I have quite a few of them. Now, uh, one handy search parameter that I always like to add is a CVE. So you have CVE severity set to high. That's a possibility. So what it will then do is it'll only show subdomains which have CVEs with high severity, which can be high, severe or critical, of course. Now, this may seem like I'm showing you vulnerabilities, like, oh, sketchup.google.com has a very severe vulnerability. But if I actually go and look at the details here, it's really important to always, always confirm the spoof of concepts. And I've tried for them. I haven't found them. If you can find them, please do report them to google.com. But this is how I search for vulnerabilities when I work for a specific company. Um, if I want to know if there's anything known about them, uh, I'll use Spice like this. And then I'll go look for CVEs with high severity. But again, it's always important to include that proof of concept because like it says here, uh, I saw something, if we go back to the details here of this program, um, I'm going to see right here, Drupal before 7.58, x 8.x before blah, blah, blah. You can see that allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary code because of an issue affecting multiple subsystems with default or common module configurations. Now, um, you really have to actually look up this CVE and see if you can pr provide a proof of concept for it. Because otherwise, if you're just going to submit the CVE, no pr working proof of concept, then it's not really a vulnerability, to be honest. Think of it this way. Let's say you're using a library and that library has a vulnerable component in it, some method that is vulnerable, but you never use that method. Well, in theory, your application is also safe. If the attacker can't reach that method, well, then if the unsafe method is sufficiently shielded, then it's sufficiently shielded. Simple as that. Now, um, this is basically how I use it. I can look for multiple domains. Of course, I can add more search parameters because now I only have name domain ends of google.com and CVE severity high, but I can also add other search parameters. I'll go through them real quick, like HTTP response codes, the DNS records, um, some names, of course, as well. Um, and then the HTML content. So you can actually go and look at the title, the meta description, the favicon hash, the emails. These are extremely detailed search parameters that you can look for. You can look in the context contents of HG, the robots.txt. So if I want robots.txt to contain forbidden, for example, something like this, I might be able to do it. I might be able to just apply my search filter. And if you can think of severe, um, vulnerabilities that you can do, that you can uh, apply a filter on, uh, if you can find that filter, if you can work on it, that can be an effective way to do hacking as well. Um, it can help in bug bounty, certainly, at least to bring a more focused view, but it also just helps because if I look at the amount of subdomains that it finds for google.com, I'm at about 40,000 results. So I'm definitely not going to be bored with that. Um, like again, I'm going to split them up into things that I can investigate further. I'm going to add some, uh, some filters in there. And then of course, I'm going to see if I can actually uh, recreate some of these CVEs. And actually, if I can, then I'm going to submit it, of course. Now for my company, we have a policy or at least the company that I work for, they have a policy that they um, want to have everything fixed that is an outdated component. So they did take those CVEs as uh, valid. I reported them in a pen testing report to them. And this is why Spice has been useful for me. Um, I like it and I've been, honestly, I've been considering buying it with my company because if I continue to do more pen tests in the future, <clears throat> then I'm going to, this tool is pretty useful for me, at least for more well-known targets. 
um, if, of course if you're working with a very small not known target yet then it's going to be a different story because you're not going to find those subdomains in here um, this is more for targets that have a little bit of knowledge already but what they are trying to achieve is they try to be the um, search interface for these kind of things with all different types of um, tools so they try to be a search engine that you can use like you saw you can ha add all of these parameters but on top of that you also have all of these different tools that you can find in here like the api uh, this one the um, tools in here are pretty useful but if you want to build your own or if you want to get some api responses there's also an api that you can talk to you get your own api key and you get an amount of uh, calls that you can do or an amount of results it really depends um, i'm going to quickly check so i don't tell any lies of course but the pricing model is pretty straightforward they have it open on their website as well as you can see 1000 api requests and 100,000 rows for download because of course once i've been using this to to look for all of my subdomains that come from google.com i'm going to want to make an export because i want to make maybe i maybe want to run my own tools on them and i can do that of course now uh, one thing i also wanted to point out and i have pointed this out in my previous video is the api requests in here this is really useful because you just get an api request and i'm going to have to blur this in the video i think because my oh no it's just my my bearer that's in here so um basically i like this tool i'm thinking about buying it it has a lot of features um, the only thing that's stopping me right now is the price because of course it's kind of expensive um, especially if you want to do a lot of API requests because a thousand API requests that's not a huge amount it's definitely sufficient to get started and you also have a hundred API requests in the community edition with up to 100 search results so you can use this tool for free that's important to know as well you can have 100 API requests for free and then 100 search results as well. Um, and if you want to go further, the basic standard plan is $49. Um, that's going to be 1,000 API requests and 100,000 rows. And then you have the pro model as well, which is 100,000 API requests. That's the one I'm currently on. That's a lot of API requests. So uh, by the time you finish those, um, I think it's the next month and the uh, quota will have rolled over. Um, so that's definitely a lot of calls that you can make. Of course, also a lot of on-demand scans. So the tool has a lot of things in it. It's very, very cool. I think it has the tools that are in it. Maybe I should show you guys them again because I didn't really go over them. The one that I use mostly, of course, is going to be the domain lookup and the subdomain finders. But you can also do the IP lookup, the reverse IP lookup, the port scanner. That's actually going to, I'll show you guys this. I can search for IPs, ports, domains, and setters. Um, that's really interesting because that's, this one, if I send it an IP that it doesn't really know yet, um, I think it actually performs a port scan. So um, that's why I like this tool quite a lot. All of these different tools that you have in here. Of course, a lot of people are going to compare this to Shodan. Um, what Shodan is, is more of a, uh, I think more of a wild card search engine where Spice is trying to offer more tools. Uh, but that's just my vision. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them either. I just think it's a cool tool. Um, and I, well, the account I've been using is sponsored, but they didn't pay me to create this video. Um, this is a trial account, so it will expire in 30 days, but I think they hooked me in and I'm seriously considering getting this after the 30 days expire. So as you can see, quite a lot of things that you can do in here. Um, you can do a lot of tools, which will help your work flow it will make things a lot easier for you but you have to remember that tools are tools and they will not do the work for you completely the way i look at the tool is the way uh, like if i have another hunter with me that can do things for me like if i have a question i can ask it hey how many subdomains can you find me or what type of subdomains can you find me for this just give me a list or give me an api request 
um, and that's where these tools shine. But if you think that you can do what I did and just report, like uh, I'm going to go back real quick, just add the CVE in here, CVE severity. If it's high, of course, you cannot just go and report these CVEs. Sometimes you can, sometimes they will allow it, but not always. And the thing with is usually in bug bounties, if it's a CVE, you have to have a proof of concept. I don't know what Google's policy is on CVEs, but I think it's the same. Don't quote me on that. Look that up for yourself. But Google, um, basically any target that you have, you're going to have to verify things. It's important. I know that it might be annoying, and but that's the most fun for me. Like if I see a CVE here, then I'm going to deep dive into what that CVE means. I might even install my own uh, vulnerable version of the web application to play with because then I can actually look in the logging and I can see what's going on right there. So I hope this video helped you guys a little bit since you do have 100 free search results with the community edition. So if you're thinking about having, like if you have a target which you do want to try this on, the CVE severity equals high, that's already a very specific parameter. As you can see from the 40,000 domains that Google has, we only have nine results in here. Um, and you can narrow it down even more if you want for those search results. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye amazing hackers.